Hi, my name is Andrei and I'm a history teacher at Steel School in the Czech Republic and also one of the members of Gulag XR team. And today I would like to introduce you to the building blocks that can help you uh, construct a good history lesson about Soviet repressions. I intentionally said blocks because in our project we offer you these building blocks like videos, augmented reality, virtual reality, texts, comic book, and it's up to you how you combine them. Like this, or like this, or like this. It very much depends on your learning objectives and of course also on the uh, time available. But before we start, it's a good question to ask, what do my students already know about Soviet repressions? Have we already addressed this topic before? What other topic do I want to connect it to? What is our local context? Uh, for example, do we have memories of uh, local witnesses or artifacts that are related to Soviet um, repressions? And are my students in this topic interested at all? And of course, what is my learning objective? It is possible that the topic of Soviet repression and the Gulag is completely unfamiliar and uh, probably your students might be uninterested in studying that because it's simply not their topic and therefore it's a good idea to connect your students prior knowledge with the learning objective you have um, on your mind and of course with your local context in short to arouse their interest so the topic of Soviet repressions becomes the topic of interest of your students too. And how do you do that? Well, uh, you can find a few tips on our website and uh, we are sure you know plenty of our other methods to make an interesting application. Now let's assume that students are interested and ready to deal uh, with the topic of Soviet repression. So if you want to reinforce their factual knowledge and put it in a broader context, you can use block number one. We have prepared a short video where young narrators summarize significant events related to Soviet repressions and place them in a broader historical context. All videos on our website are available in your local languages and of course these can be combined with worksheets, textbooks, text, any material that you will find uh, useful to consolidate your students' uh, knowledge. Then we have another block, memories of witnesses, videos of Gulag survivors who tell the stories of their life, uh, what they experience uh, during Gulag imprisonment and uh, this can connect the big history we have uh, touched in the previous video with a personal perspective. We have a total of 10 videos, two from the Czech Republic, two from Slovakia, two from Poland, two from Germany and two from Russia. How to work with that? Well, for example, you can just show a one selected video and discuss it with students or you can divide this, um, the class into smaller groups and assign one video to each group and then you can discuss it together and try to find similarities between the stories. And then we have another block. Well, there's one, there's one. It's a comic book. Comic book for your students where you can read the story of two young researchers who decided to set up on a journey to abandon Gulag camps and to research, study the topic of Soviet repressions more in depth. On this side, you can follow their story, and on this side, it's uh, their diary with their log entries. You can find their questions, their trouble, their plans. And here at the bottom, you, there is a task for your students. How your students can um, solve the task? Well, by simply using a school tablet or a mobile phone, whatever device you have, with a Gulag XR app pre-installed. You just uh, point the app over the comic book, and then another layer of reality, augmented reality, appears. There you can find uh, more witnesses, their memories, you can find artifacts that were found during the expeditions, real expeditions to abandoned Gulag camps. And by doing that, you can research uh, various aspects of life in, uh, in Soviet Gulag, like hygiene, like food, like working conditions, and so on. Why is it important? Because in this project, we want not only to help students uh, become better in the topic of Soviet 
impressions, but we also want to introduce the very basics of scientific uh, method. So they start with a question, then they have to find for more information, then they have to pose a hypothesis, and then they have either to reject it or accept it and uh, summarize their findings. That's all included here. How you can work with a comic? Well, uh, what's uh, worked well with us is that you divide your class into six groups. Each group is assigned another part of the comic book. So one starts on page 21, another group starts on page 20, uh, seven and so on, and uh, studies a different aspect of life in Gulag camps. And at the end, we get together and so we summarize what we have found. The important thing is that by doing so, your students become subjects of learning and not mere objects. It's them who study, it's them who learn and they are active. Another block is virtual reality. It's an optional one, but very useful if you want to deepen and strengthen your students' learning. If you have your Oculus Quest uh, headset, then you can download our free Gulag VR app, install it, and there you go. Students go directly to the site of the abandoned camps, walk through the site as it looks now, and are experience a reconstruction that reflects the conditions in which the camps were in the early 1950s. The students are in the role of an observer and have the opportunity to glimpse aspects that they have previously explored in the augmented reality. The aim of virtual reality is to enhance students' experience, to engage their emotional side and thus to promote their learning. Well, in the final block, final reflection, because no lesson would be good enough without it. Students are guided to it by the wording of the task in the comic book and uh, there'll be tips on our website uh, where you can learn how to do it uh, in a way that worked well for us. If you would like to use your own materials, uh, be it decks, uh, textbooks, videos, please do. So we hope you have a successful lesson and if you have any ideas or tips, experience that have worked well uh, for you, be very happy if you share that with us. So thank you very much and I'm off back to virtual reality. Cheers.